Très de Je There was one time a family, a traditional Jewish family. They had a small kid, a little child, and they were very not so involved in their Judaism, not so involved in their in their connection to the Yiddish guys. But came Yom Kippur, and like everyone knows, on Yom Kippur, all the Jews are at the Seder. And they decided that they're going to go to Shul, this young traditional Jewish couple, they're going to take their son. So they went together with their son, and they went to Shul, they went to the Reform Shul, that was the Shul that they knew. And they came to the Shul and they were told, you can't come in, you didn't buy a ticket. Okay, and they were a little bit set off. They decided, okay, we'll go to the conservative show. They went to the conservative show. Again, they were told, you didn't buy a ticket, you can't come in. And after hearing such, such outlandish comments from the rabbis of these two, of the, of these two shuls, the mother was, was very upset. And she decided that she's not, she, she, this is not right. A Jew doesn't treat another Jew like this. A Jew wants to go to show on your kipper. How can another Jew stop him? Stop him or her? And so she decided she's going home. And the father, together with this small child decided that they're going to they're go to another shul. And so they decided they're going to go to a base Chabad, a Chabad house. And they came to the, the father and the son to the Chabad house. And the shliach came up to them and approached them so nicely. Obviously there was no threat of a ticket purchase or any of the like. And they treated him with such joy and such happiness and he even played with the child. And the father was so impressed. How, how amazing a shliach is. He didn't even know him. And nevertheless, he showed so much love, so much care to the child. Now fast forward many years down the line, this couple already moved to a different area. They belonged to a conservative shul. And they, were, they decided that because of membership fees, because of various other reasons, that the conservative shul, just, it's just too much. They want to move. And so the, the, there was two options. There was a young Israel and there was a base Chabad, there was a Chabad house. And so there was many different Natiyas towards each place. There was the young Israel, many of the friends of his family had gone to young Israel and had gone to other places. And, but nevertheless, this family felt that, you know what? For some reason, they felt that the father remembered years ago, 11, 12 years ago, when he went to that base Chabad, how much the Shliach helped him, how much the Shliach cared for him. He decided, you know what, I'm going to give Chabad a chance. I'm going to go to Chabad first. And because of this connection, because of his this decision to go to Chabad, eventually his entire family became involved. And his family started growing in Yiddishkeit. And his, and his children also started to begin growing and experiencing an exponential growth which, which, which is, can't even be defined. And the reason I'm telling you this story is because this story, the Shliach is Rabbi Josh Gordon, Rabbi Yeshua Gordon. This couple is my parents. And this, this child was me. And so, this is, while, while it's a beautiful story, it brings out a very, very important point. That every single one of us have to know how, how immense, immense impact a shliach can have. Rabbi Gordon, maybe he was doing something small. Maybe he was doing a, a small gesture, a night act of kindness, a smile. Just doing what, he, what he's doing. But he, he is the Rebbe Shliach. And therefore, everything the Rebbe Shliach does, the Rebbe comes into it. The Rebbe puts his Chai Yechideh into your Shlichus. And so therefore, even such a small act literally changed the lives of a, of a, of a person in his entire family. And the Mitzvah Hashem, many more around. And so this is an important lesson for us, that every single one of us has to know that we're going on, we're going on shlichus, the Rebbe picked us. Not only did the Rebbe pick the Lubavitchers Bechlal, Lubavitchers are the chosen people. Not only that, the Rebbe picked the Tvimim. And out of the Tvimim themselves, the Rebbe picked us, that we should go to our place. We should go to whatever place we're going to go, and there we are going to fulfill what our mission is. And the Rebbe gives us his, like the Rebbe says in Be'ez Iyar, the Rebbe gives us Keiches Chai Yechidah. That we can, we can bring Chai of the Rebbe into wherever we go. And that is, we have to realize our special cases. How much, even a small action, just sitting and learning, being a Tamim, doing what the Rebbe wants from us, just a small thing, being a Yerushimayim, all of these things, how much it can pay on all of us and all of those around us. 
And this is what the Rebbe gives us, this is what the Rebbe wants us to understand as we go on Shluchas. We are Talmidei HaShluchim. The Rebbe picked us out of all other people. There were many people who could have been picked. I have to say, four and a half years ago, I didn't imagine that I would be standing in all the best measures giving a uh, saying. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> The answer is, is that it's not up to us. Whether it's been saying that, whether it's our Ratzon or not, the Rebbe picked us and the Rebbe believes in us that the Rebbe is giving us Kefis Chai Yechido to pile wherever we go. And this is connected with a famous Sikha that the Rebbe says that there was two general builders of the Mishkan. We know that there was B'Tzal and Liyav, two builders. So Pashtas, you could think, why were these two the big builders? Why were they the head of the, the project? So B'Tzal, because B'Tzal was from Shev Yehuda, he was a chosh of a guy, in our words, he was very gesh. He was a, he was a serious dude. Masha'en came, Aliyah. Aliyah was from Shevet Don. Shevet Don was not from the uh, Lee less chosh shvatim. So he was not so, uh, he, did, he wasn't so exactly uh, from the royal tribe, so to say. And so you could think that the Torah is trying to teach you something of equality here. That there's a, you know, no matter where you come from, it doesn't matter where, what your background is, you could still be successful, you could still head the building of the Mishkan. But it's very interesting because at the end of the parsha it says, Kain also Betzal, and it gives only Betzal the credit. So now you're reading it and you're thinking, you know, as much as Torah promotes equality, that everyone can do it and it doesn't matter where you come from, but ultimately, we know what's going to happen. <laughs> Ultimately, if you come from the, if you come from the good tribe, you come from the, you come from the Chash Shevet, we know that you're gonna, you're gonna be the one to win. So, in order to forestall such a possible thought, Rashi comes in the pasuk and says, "Why was Betzal? Why does it say specifically Betzal? Why doesn't it say Eliyahu? B'pnei Shehu Meiser Nafshelzit, because he was Meiser Nefesh on it. What does that mean? It means like this: the Betzal." For Aliyah, he was also building the Mishkan. He was also involved in Abed Sakedish. But it wasn't his life. For Betzal, his entire life was to build the Mishkan. His entire life was to bring the Shekhinah Lamata in a Makam Gashmi. And that's what his entire life, his entire focus was. And being that's what was on his mind the entire time. So it didn't matter what he was doing, his mind was always busy thinking about how am I going to bring the Shekhinah Lamata. He was Meister Nashelze. And so therefore, this is a lesson. Not only for not only for for all Yidin, but befrat for Talmid Ashluchim. That we have to know that the Shluchis, our Haslach and Shluchis, comes not because because we got sent to a certain place or this or that, or because I I was built with certain kishrenis, whatever it is. The reason we have Haslach is because we're Meisir Nevishan, because this is Negeya Unzer Eleven. When it's something which is Negeya our life, something which we devote ourselves to. This is the only thing that we want, and that we have to realize that we are given Kehus Chai Yechida. This is our life. This is our life that the Rebbe gave in us a special care that no one else in the entire world. As much as you, as much as there's so many people in the world, so many Tvim in the world, no one has the ability to go to this certain place where we are going, wherever each person is going, to pale and effect in that Shkishiva. No one else in the entire world can fulfill your mission. And when we realize this, we realize that we were given these cases and we make it negate to us, that we are Meser Nashazet, that they're bin. What am I? I am a Chos of the Rebbe. I am a shliach of the Rebbe. This is who I am. There is nothing else to me. When we realize that, and we have that permeated in our mind, so that brings the grace, the, the, the best hasloch in shlichus. And like the Rebbe says, that Eim de Bissa Chosi, Dosa Zayn Kentech of Dir. Eim de Bissa Tomim, Dosa Zayn Kentech of Dir. If you're a Tomim, it has to be written on your face that you're a Tomim. When we're shluchim, it has to be written on our faces that we're shluchim. And when we have this in our mind, that I am a shliach, that the Rebbe really cares about me, that the Rebbe cares, that the Rebbe damins, the Rebbe sent me to this place because the Rebbe believes in me to be able to achieve in this place. And when we have this in mind, when we really feel it, when we really believe it, then it comes out that we are blessed not only with the, great, the best Aslacha in ourselves, in our own Aveda, but in the Aveda to, to pray on those around us, and the whole Shtat around us, and the Mitzvah Shem, it should be Bezash Hashem, it should be prayed that the entire, the, that ultimately we're coming there to bring these Galos of the Rebbe into that Yeshiva. And so it should come out that in the, all the Yeshivas in the entire world, wherever we go, wherever, wherever a Bacher finds himself, he should come realizing that he has Kehmes Chai Yechid of the Rebbe. He has the ability to bring the Rebbe to that place. And when we realize that, that I am bringing the Rebbe to this place, so that we is going to give us the greatest Aslacha, the ultimate Aslacha, that the Rebbe should take a be, the whole Kasvi table, and that we should have these Galos of the Rebbe and should be taking me out, Mamish Mamish.
Rishi Shukaya, Roy Asvaram and Misha Amram, whoever knows, Alav Yaakov worked this year, Moser Nafshele, Asaya, the Sikh team program, Asaya, the Yonim from Afatze, Asaya and Williams, but Bukhulu, Bukhulu, so you see that Moser Nafshele, his life is bringing, and he made a young man to Mrem, the whole Kekis Nafshele, the whole Hushin Nafshele, with Mehem, Mehmenu Yiru, Mehen Yasu, Mehem.